Hello, 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 everyone. I'm Dasha Jamison with Red Rock Pastel Society of Nevada, live from Las Vegas. Uh, our orange show is still through October 29, and today we have hi, ladies, and today we have our member award winner. So her piece uh, got third place right there. Beautiful sunflowers. Um, Tatiana, please come in. Uh, perform a demo. Hello, 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 everyone. I will gonna spotlight the screen. Spotlight for everyone. So you will see Tatiana and what she will be doing. Uh, Dasha, probably we need to show people our still life, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna paint these beautiful flowers uh, for you today. I will send picture in the chat in a second. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> it's always fun to paint uh, in your company. So we're ready to start? Yeah, we're ready to start. Can I move it just yeah, sure. ever so slightly closer for you? Uh, please uh, give me feedback. Is it uh, good? Can you see good? Thumbs up? Maybe? Yes? Okay, good. Can you see okay? This look on your way? Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, with my drawing. I'm going to use this uh, charcoal and I uh, will do really, you know, just a uh, very quick sketch. Charcoal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna paint those flowers. Okay, our focal point is gonna be the big, uh, the bigger, the bigger flower. So here it's like a light, um, a little bit peachy rose. And I'm going to start with my focal point. So I'm not going to paint a vase. It just uh, will be just flowers. So I'm going to sim simplify. So this is gonna be my focal point. <laughs> uh, two carnation, two carnations. Uh, and uh, of course I have in this uh, still life a uh, very interesting flower. It's uh, and the name of this flower is, is Bird of Paradise. So it's gonna be somewhere here. So and right now I see I need to move all of my flowers a little bit down. So I will take. Uh, needed eraser, and I get rid of my carnation here. I will do it a little bit smaller. My rose carnations gonna be here. This uh, purple violet flowers gonna be here. In other rows, I just put in that place two, two dahlias I'm going to put here. And a few small garden roses going to be in that area. And I have hydrangea in my uh, floral ar arrangement, but uh, from my point of view right now, it's almost invisible. So I'm not going to draw my hydrangea. And some green leaves gonna be here. Yeah. 
You see, I'm I'm changing a little bit my position. I think that's good. Cool. That's good for now, and I'm ready to go with my color. Uh, I forgot to mention that my paper is uh, Lux Archival, and uh, I did a wash to this paper. Probably you know it. Uh, it's all only one color in Lux um, in Lux Archival paper. It's only white color. So yesterday I did a watercolor wash. And I use uh, moon glow, moon glow color from Daniel Smith watercolor. So and I did if like a smooth transition from uh, light to a little bit darker. So it's kind of difficult uh, to work on uh, white paper because it's sometimes too challenging for me to establish the correct values on the white paper. I prefer working on the toned paper. So that's why I decided to make my life a little bit easier mm -hmm. and uh, toned my paper in advance. So it's a moon glow color from Daniel Smith. Okay, let's let's continue. I always start with uh, my, uh, actually probably you will see it with my pen pastel, pen pastel. And I choose, I pre-selected my color, especially for, for this uh, little bit orangey uh, still life. And pen pastels uh, comes with uh, this kind of uh, applicators. And it also has uh, uh, like these uh, small applicators. But I prefer working with just a makeup, makeup sponge. It's more cheaper and I really like uh, the shape. Actually, I, I cut it uh, like on two halves, the makeup sponge. And I will, use, I will be using uh, the tool today. Okay, let's start uh, with my uh, focal point. So I have a light uh, coming uh, through the, uh, uh, from, from right to left. So this, uh, you can see like the very strong contrast around these rows. So it's going to be my lightest light pa uh, part in my uh, uh, floral arrangement. So I will start with this few light colors. This is my light area, that rose. And I will do some darker petals. And you see how quick you, I have my rose already. <laughs> Later, I will, I will uh, add more details with the uh, regular uh, pastel sticks. Okay, let's continue working. And I do some color to my carnations. Then another rose, it has more red color. And this part is going to be the lightest part on that rose. After uh, each mark, I try to clean my uh, sponge.
another rose and a few small garden roses. It has more orange color. And probably I will do suggestion of hydrangea. It's very unusual, like neutral purple color. Thanks very much. That's too light. And actually, I have very small uh, makeup sponge. Very small. It's uh, useful when I need uh, to paint uh, very small petals. So when I go to teach him X, I try uh, to find something unusual. I go to the section where they sell makeup sponges and I always buy something new. Okay, this is suggestion of hydrangea. And uh, let's do dahlia. I'm, I'm using like cadmium, cadmium orange, uh, yellow, and a little bit of um, probably uh, red oxide. So at least uh, three uh, colors on my applicator. And uh, th uh, this uh, flower has more light than if you compare it uh, to a fair. So I even give it more. Sometimes I can use even my finger with the, with the paper towel. Maybe here I can add more light. More light yes. here. No, My small garden though. Yes. And Yeah. Now it's time to to paint my bird of paradise, but I don't want that flowers to take too much attention. So it's going to be just a, a suggestion because it's uh, it's not our focal point. Actually, I will be treated with my uh, charcoal marks. There is no need, yes. because I know my composition already. So I don't need this right now. So you see how easy 
to erase uh, charcoal from the paper. It's a very good paper. I really enjoy enjoy working on that paper. It takes a lot of uh, any water medium, watercolor, gouache, acrylic. It takes a lot of layers of pastel to just a great paper. Okay, yeah, that's better. So as I mentioned before, it's gonna be just a suggestion. Okay. So a couple of strokes and we almost have the bird of paradise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's another set um, of fine pastel just close to me. It's my uh, green set. So I pre selected uh, those greens yesterday. So they still light. And with this punch, you can do the petal and also you can do a line yeah i just want to Probably put put this set here because I need to do more greens. I forgot about my this purple. Okay, let's do. I don't. I forgot the, the name of this purple flowers. They are so nice, and I decided to include uh, these flowers in this. Um, still life because you know I have a lot of yellow orange colors in my uh in, in those flowers so I decided to put some uh, purple or violet accents because you know uh purple is a complementary color for yellow Let's put some purple here, just for the color balance. In this area, actually, I see the shadow in my background, and it's also purple. Getting 
trying to get rid of this dust. Those chocolate marks. I don't need them right now here. One, two, probably another, another here. Some greens. can also use uh, the applicator for when pastels. It's kind of applicators. Uh, if it's uh, with them, or you can do some stems. But uh, I I can do everything just with just with uh, with this thing. But it's some light here. It's better to use for the light. It's better to use just my finger. So it's coming. It's coming together. Some stems for carnations. Right here. Mm -hmm. You see, with just one, one stroke and you have a weave. So with the regular uh, uh, pastel stick, I will add more darkness. Okay, I need this thing. I don't know the name for the small leaves under the rose.
I will do it visible. It's the paint around with my dark crystals. This is uh, my darkest color. It's a Senior Year 179, my favorite dark color. I will add even more contrast to my focal point. When it lo looks too green, I always layer my greens with the dark red to make green a look not so artificial. A little bit uh, red on dark, on dark green. To soften some edges, I'm just using the uh, plastic plastic razor. So I need my contrast here, but not there in that area. Some random marks to give this arrangement more life. Now, more details. my focal point. I'm using again plastic razor to soften one side of my oh, pastel marks, pastel mark on every petal. Now I also can erase some color and you know and give them. Suggestion of petal. With this kind of movement. I try to 
show the age of the third book. So on that stage, on this stage, I need to be very careful. It's kind of tricky with the too many details. I can, I may overwork. You no. Know? Uh. So if, if you see, I'm adding some things and I'm pulling some of them. So that's the process. Hey guys, I will ask you if you're just joining us please stay muted or I will mute you. Doesn't mean we don't love you, but. And if you stay muted, you don't have to see my hair in a frame too. That's a bonus. <laughs> Actually, right now I'm using uh, the set uh, from Richardson uh, that my, my award uh, for the third place. Thank you so much. It's a great, it's a great set, set of orange colors. Mm -hmm. How do you like them? I like them. They're very soft and nice, uh, a very nice selection of color. Really like them. So I really love, I really want to this uh, flowers, this rose to be focal point. That's why I spend so so much time on just one flower. Maybe orange, just a little bit, very light application. You see, for, for some details, I'm using uh, Prismacolor New Pastels. I just uh, sharp, sharpen this stick for more convenient application. And they're so good for details. They give a very sharp line, 
thin sharp line. That's working. So I'm removing some color to give the to to make this pattern on on the leaf. As you can see here. I will try to do the same here, but it doesn't doesn't work here because the um, underpainting here is darker than in that area. So it's better to see it here. Okay, I will probably add more details on that rose to that rose. So I try to have one um one side of my mark. Uh, I try to keep the sharp edge, but I soften another side of my mark. The same here. So again, new pastel, new pastels again, some petal.
So also you can use pastel pencils. <clears throat> For example, if I want this area like a glaze of blue color, I just can glaze it with uh, my uh, blue pencil. It's a very light layer. <laughs> and I can do the same with my background. <laughs> So, as I said before, it's a watercolor, but I can cover the whole area if I want with my pastel pencil. And I, actually, I can change the color of my background a little bit. For example, if I want it a little bit to the like turquoise and just you see, giving a glaze of fructose to my background. Dark fructose. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do more details. Example with the, the, this orange pencil, I'm giving more definition to the birds of paradise. It will be orange on the flower. Maybe some orange even on the Purple violet tones. I'm going to put some light purple color on that yellow flowers to make it more interesting. So right now it's all about details. And it's kind of tricky because, you know, I don't want to lose the, the, the composition, you know, adding too many details to my painting.
light green here in this area. This is another rubber eraser. Helps me to soften some edges. Just a few marks and I will finish this painting. So oh, hydrangea is still here. Okay, I think I'm done at this level. At this point. This is our jury show, orange show, and Tatiana got awarded third place award uh, at this show with your sunflowers painting. It's a part of the show too, and she kind of agreed to demonstrate to us today. So thank you for joining us. If you like what you see, Please share, follow on Facebook, Tatiana's uh, account, she'll get in front. We'll get you on our posts uh, and uh, our website. And if you want to, there is a lot of beautiful concerns for this. I hope they ready to go. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, we were recording and we will upload it to YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Sherry, so much for helping. Thank you, guys. I think you had like 50 people watching us. Oh, so, so, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.